when I got baptized, I was not ready. Alright, hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. Today I look like a tired girl, and it's not even the way that I look, I feel like it's the way that I feel. Like, you, I don't know if you guys can see my eye bags, but you can tell. I literally tweeted the other day that my eye bags li literally represent my determination and my hard work. Like, look at that, and you know what, like, um... I literally am not going to be a person who literally sits around and just says god bless me with xyz knowing very well that i'm not doing anything in my side or on my side like i'm literally giving life my all to be the person that i want to be and i feel like a lot of times that gets to me where i just start crying and i end up being emotional because i'm just like god this is so difficult like ah, this is so hard like this is so hard because you just expect it to show up during the day. You still expect it to show up at night. By the time you know it, you don't even have enough time to have a social life. And even when you do have a social life, you just start feeling guilty that I should have done X, Y, Z. Because you have deadlines to meet, you have this and that. Oh, the cost of accomplishing all things that you desire is a lot. It is a lot. But you know what? I wouldn't have had it any other way because I am a bougie person and I just have an expensive taste in life. Like I was literally telling my other manager this other day that when you just have an expensive taste in life, like you go in guns blazing. <laughs> you go after everything running, not walking, not fainting, but running. You literally sprint with it because you just truly want to accomplish all these things that you desire. Anyways, how rude of me for not greeting you guys. Anyways, I just want to say hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of the week of the anointed. I haven't filmed these in a very long time. I'm just going to try to keep this one quite brief. Yeah, I haven't filmed in a long time. Hey, like, And I did try to film, but the episode that I filmed, I don't know if I'm going to upload it because I didn't like how it looked Um, in the end. Like my battery died. There was just all these things. And every single time I've noticed that in my life, when I have to speak about God or share God's word, something always disrupts somewhere somehow anyways right now i'm currently on a lunch break and this shows my level of determination oh, stay at home chronic oh, working from home chronic chronicles not wearing earrings and you know what i'm not really trying to look fly for you guys i'm so sorry because i'm a normal person just like you and i and just like everyone else just like the the person watching right now like i'm literally a normal person i'm not gonna come here all these cafes bt and stuff like that no like nah <laughs> nah sorry if you guys had bigger expectations sorry to disappoint you until it's winter i literally have such a hot warm water bottle because it's so cold let me just actually get to the point of this video i truly want to reflect on the very past week because i feel like for once in my life this past week has been a way of me measuring like my progress spiritually and i feel like week of the anointed is just basically a series that i'm sharing with you guys on how god showed up for me throughout the week like how it's basically to show you guys how god's word is alive um that you don't you don't need to dive deep because at the end of the day like i say this all the time that my intention was actually to make the series like a bible study and then i thought to myself you guys can literally get that anywhere and everywhere like you could literally even watch a sermon and have your own bible study but i think it's just i just truly want to show you the practicality of it that God is there, God is God is able, God God is present. Even when you think he's not, even when you feel like he's distant, even when you feel like you're being separated or whatever it is that you have going on in your life, God is there. I share quite a lot of stuff. I'm really going to try and keep this video brief. Like I said, I'm on a work lunch break and that is an hour. <laughs> so this video cannot be more than an hour. Um, with that being said, I also am trying to edit this video and like probably upload it today. <laughs> because um yeah no i have a lot going on so um this video is obviously going to be different and I'll, I'll show you guys the significance of this week i want to show you guys the significance of this past week then follow me on tiktok i would have posted this and you would have seen it please follow me on tiktok guys because that is like the only platform that is like up to date like where i try to post consistently it is up to date youtube was obviously behind contemplating about deleting instagram i don't feel like it's my vibe anymore like there's just no space for me there i just truly want to be my authentic self and i feel like my craft is more appreciated on tiktok as compared to instagram so still really deciding on that but i really want to start the real story of well some connection or or or, or 
relatedness to this past week so i literally got baptized on the 4th of november 2023 <laughs> it is 2024 now um april today is the 16th of april I literally got baptized on the 4th of november and the reason why i'm telling you guys is that is that when i got baptized i was not ready <laughs> like i don't wanna lie like i was excited like whoa like this is actually happening because the crazy part about it and this is what i actually want to express is that i was not ready like i just truly felt like yo let me go out and party a lot <laughs> you know before i get baptized or let me just you know do damage control for the last time before i get baptized and i feel like i was not ready because in my mind like i was just like yo if i get like when i get baptized that means like i can't you know this is my thought process at the time like i can't do these things anymore like my life is obviously going to change because your life when you um receive the lord as your lord and savior and your life before that it's never going to be the same and if it is i got news for you but i don't want to be the one to tell you as yet i i i, I don't want to be the one to tell you right so we'll park it there <laughs> what i'm just trying to say is that um i was not ready like i was just always like i just want to do damage especially because of how my life was prior to me or telling you guys all these things which is something that i'm gonna get um which is something that i'm actually gonna share probably even after this video where i'm just gonna um shoot the video which is so crazy because my testimony on how god changed my life is so tied way like it, it it's tied in with how i actually got my job like literally like how god's pro promise was fulfilled in the job that god gave me that whole testimony on how i got the job is literally a testimony on its own on how god had called me like it's so crazy i'm probably gonna even do a two part or three parts to that i'm probably just gonna film that after here when i do get the time to and when my life has just kind of settled because right now it's there's a lot going on but because of how my life was like i just felt like i was wilding out like and i truly wanted to wild out some more like i didn't want to live a life where i felt guilty to say today i'm going to the club even though i, I was not a big fan of clubs but let's say like today i just actually want to get drunk for example and i like i can't do that you know what i'm saying like i i i i can't do that without like feeling guilty i, I just didn't want to live that life but anyways at the certain point which the crazy part about this is that as much as i was not ready i also kept telling people about how i actually wanted to get baptized i kept telling my friends that i really want to get baptized i kept telling my like i kept telling everyone and when my sister was just like dude we need to get baptized like hey sh dog i'm not ready i'm telling these ones this i'm telling this one that but anyways um um i was just like i actually want to get baptized now the crazy part um i remember just telling um someone very close to me that i really want to get baptized but the church that i go to does not baptize people so he literally said that you know what i'll try and make a plan for you to actually get baptized and that he was going to speak to his father because his father's a pastor and yeah, yeah 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 um which is something that i obviously um i love that when people just go all out for me to just try and make just offer me some form of help especially on my journey with god but that's a story for another day um i think one thing that i just didn't notice is that when my sister told me that dude we needed to get baptized it was like God just using her to just confirm that God has truly mocked me for something greater and that he just needed me to experience that sense of urgency that you really need to do this, you really need to turn your life around and there's so much more to you than what you think. I'm getting to all of this. Eventually, I just... Wait, let's let's do it. Months are going by. This one time um, we go to church. I don't always go to church, by the way. I'm literally go not gonna be a fake Christian. I'm gonna tell you guys straight. I don't always go to church. I try by all means to make time for God, but yeah, I don't always go to church. This one Sunday, after months of not going to church, I go to church, and um, this big announcement is made at church that we are baptizing people next week, Saturday. So. If you want to get baptized, be born again, sign your name up at the end of the sermon or service. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week, Saturday, for the baptism, water baptism. Now you can imagine. You can imagine how I'm literally feeling right now. I'm just like, what? God is not a God that's random. Like, He knows what it is that you're thinking, He knows what He has called you into. And most importantly, He tries to take you out of 
the way that you're feeling the nervousness and st stuff like that and just truly pushes you to just jump into the things that he has called you into i'm getting to the point i promise so i signed up and then i woke up this one morning super duper excited like i kept telling everyone around me that i am getting baptized soon i'm getting baptized soon i'm getting baptized soon crazy part about it it was that i was not even scared like as the days went by i wasn't nervous at all like i just really felt like god like bring it on like <laughs> bring it on like i'm just so excited for this like I'm, i wasn't even excited about anything else but i was just more excited about walking this hand this journey hand in hand with god like that was my biggest excitement nothing else like god i i've seen what you have done in my life you have called me you have taken out of me you have taken me out of my misery my disobedience all these things that i have been doing and you still loved me you know you never gave up on me you know what i mean you extended your grace upon me you chose me you chose me and you chose me so i was literally feeling like that and that is what made me excited um to get baptized like god you love me and i remember on the 13th of november so that was the week after my baptism something tugs in me and i start telling my sister that you know what dude i feel like i need to start something right i need to start and i literally journaled this on the 13th of november so that was like a week after my baptism literally i tell my sister and i'm like hey dude like i just really want to um start hosting like a picnic with um, maybe ladies and gents all over Joburg, and i don't even want this to be about people that i know like i definitely wanted to just be people that i don't know because now i felt like god had truly planted what my assignment was um in my head but obviously in my mind it didn't really i didn't really think about it that way because the thing is when you're saved guys like you're truly compelled to actually start spreading the word of the lord right and it's not that god needs us to do that no but it's like that is your assignment to win souls right and i just truly wanted to do it in a way that in a, in a way that doesn't seem very stressful i feel like i just truly really wanted to do that in a sense that God is with you everywhere like you don't have to go to church to feel God's presence and I feel like that was the reason why I actually wanted to start this thing of just having bible studies with random people where I just put up on my social like hey guys we're having a picnic here 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 we're gonna be reading the word of the Lord and just connecting as a whole like I feel like I'm so big on human connection as much as I'm so introverted I always say that people bore me but people bore me because of how the way that they handle themselves and the disrespect and all that I can't stand that and I feel like a lot of people have made that a norm and that is something Thing that i just cannot stand and with me saying these things that i just truly felt like god was calling me into ministry in that way and i remember this one time in church they touched on it um that god separates you god saves you and then he calls you into ministry and the thing is i feel like the biggest misconception that people have when we speak about the term ministry is that they think church right um that it's church and only church and the thing is that is not only ministry the fact that when we spread the gospel of the lord when we tweet um bible verses we share scriptures with friends that on its own is ministry for the fact that you are sharing the word of the lord that on its own is ministry like you are in ministry when you do that right but like now and that's something that i've always done but i felt like now my position in it was like becoming much more serious like god was just calling me into something serious in ministry it's just that i don't know what it was well, is it a podcast is it you know and i feel like that's when i actually decided to start this because i'm just like i actually also want to share the word of god with people online if people are not in Joburg, people are not in south africa i don't know where you guys are watching from but i just truly really want to share that with you guys but i was like mm -mm, i'm not going to make it in the form of a bible study but i just truly really want to share it in, in 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 its most practical way for people to see that you know what god is with you the whole interest of um sharing god's word grows in me this was last year november like i said 20 13 november 2023 well that whole period after getting baptized like that was like my new revelation if i should put it like that like i just had this consistent urge that i truly just want to do this thing with like people and i don't even want it to be people that i know like i just wanted to be strangers where we could literally um meet up like have a picnic have hikes and stuff like that and just share the word like what is your because the thing is i feel like i also learn a lot about god's word through other people the way you interpret the word and i feel like you just also get to have like different revelations about the word when you guys share the word with each other so that is literally what was tagging in me and i was just like god i don't know how i'm gonna do this <laughs> like, 
have no idea every single time like i just wanted to like tweet like hey guys i'm doing this thing this saturday like you know I, and the thing is i was just like are people even gonna come like you know what i'm saying like i don't know what's going on are people gonna come should i do this i don't know and every single time i just wanted to tweet um something i don't know like i would just never have that 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 uh, like certainty was okay dude do this thing because at the end of the day i was just thinking about it like how am i going to execute this do people do i send out a do, obviously i have to create a group chat but do i send out a scripture to people to read before and then we dissect the word or do we dissect the word in each other's presence but obviously there's people who love reading in quiet spaces and now there's the person who loves reading out loud and now pe the focus is gone i know that i have a short concentration span so like how do i do this like do is it like i don't know how do i do this do i take control of the the whole thing till the very end what do i do you know um because at the end of the day like this is me wanting to lead people to god and i don't want to do it in a way of like persisting that hey gotta do this no i just really wanted to do it in a very subtle manner because i know that god had an encounter with me and my encounter with god was completely different it's not an encounter where like the holy spirit is burning in me in church and people are being called to the altar and i'm there like i want to receive jesus as my lord my story is completely different 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 and it's not even tied to people where i just went to someone and i'm like hey please i need to be saved nope God just reached out to me as a person on my own and I my life just changed on its own. So yeah, I pretty much had that um that that um the thoughts that I don't know how I'm gonna do this, right? I don't know how I'm gonna go about it, I don't know how I'm just gonna do this. Like God, I need you to give me courage, I need to yeah, I need you to give me boldness. And the thing is guys, I need you to understand that I'm a person who's so confident in themselves. Like I'm very confident in this very thing that I've done. Like if you trust me with something and you truly want to see me, like the real me pull up for you, I will do that. Like and I'll give it my best. Like that is me. But when it came to this, because of the level of seriousness tied to it, like like, this is no joke you know so i feel like that's when like i just started getting like anxious like oh not even anxious but like yo god like i have no form of structure to this but um to communicate with my people i'm just like yo a lot is going on and i just don't know how i'm gonna do this and i feel like also i need to accommodate different people because a lot of people don't work and i can't expect them to just have i can't expect to have like a bougie um bible study in a posh restaurant you know what i'm saying like all these things have been happening so i've just been thinking like how am i gonna do this god like firstly god i know you're calling me to this am i even thinking the right things are you even the one saying these things to me am i just you know like uh, what's happening <laughs> so what happens after is that december comes it's new year's eve if you've watched my vlogs um there was a time i think when i posted like a, a vlog when that hey neighbor incident happened um i posted and i was just like i actually want to book an airbnb to go um to go there and just really plan like you know like basically do my vision board and like pray over my plans over this year and all these things right so i did that which is the last airbnb tour if you're watching this video it's the last airbnb tour that you would have seen but yeah i posted that and then um yeah i did all of that during the airbnb rested whatever the case is new year's eve comes well that time was during new year's eve whatever um new year's eve comes everybody's wilding and for some odd reason there's literally nothing in me that says dude go out to have a chillers with friends or go play for games with people nothing like that i was literally i spent new year's eve with my sister re watching how to get away with murder so yeah um there i was and the whole day guys i was having like internal conversations with god like i didn't want to go anywhere i didn't even want to go to a restaurant like i just didn't want to go anywhere the whole of new year's eve going on to new year's like i just didn't okay well new year's i had to come back at home because on the second i was back at work like the actual office but what i'm just trying to say is that i just did not want to speak to nobody i didn't want to go out i didn't want to have drinks with no one like i just really wanted to be alone like alone like leave me alone you guys go out enjoy i just want to be alone the whole time i was having conversations with god um and i remember doing a draft on my phone about the things that i wanted i separated it um or what my expectations were of god this for for god this year like i literally just wrote i split it i was like finances this is what i'm expecting work-wise career-wise this is what i'm expecting um all these things like friendship wise spiritually all these things like i made like you know um subheadings and stuff like that and i 
put it all together and then right after that um, I did my vision board I'm gonna have to keep changing these camera settings because um, because of the lighting like once it gets harsh I get too bright and I hate that my god this year is literally gonna be a tough year for me like there's increased responsibility I have a lot to show up for and I'm stepping into what you your word what you have spoken over my life in 2022 because you commanded me to do something so specific and finally I'm able to do it this year um, or how God's promise was God's promise was fulfilled when I got the job um, in fact the job got me <laughs> when I think about it because I'm like how I got the job bro like nah <laughs> you never got the job God made that job for you <laughs> but anyways um hey i'll tell you guys it all and that is the reason also like the reason why i was just like now nah, i'm walking with this journey with jesus christ and nothing else because i've seen god work in my life i've seen god speak a word over my life and it happens i've seen god speak to me when i was not even living a righteous life i've seen god pull me out of situations that i never thought i would come out of i've seen god being there with me strengthening me to fight and to keep running my race of endurance like i've seen god pull through for me so um when it was time for me to get back it wasn't uh, something that i was second guessing guys i wasn't second guessing it to be like Ish, is god real no i knew it i was just like i'm going in guns blazing like i am diving in that water head on like i can't even swim but i was just like i'm diving in that water like i am diving in that water for christ like i was at that level like like there's no it's, it's not even up for discussion anyways my biggest prayer for this year now he listened to what i'm telling you I, at this point in time, I was just like, you know what, God, this whole thing of me creating this group Bible study will happen when it's meant to happen, right? Because I don't know how I'm going to figure it out. And also the thing is, when God speaks to you, it doesn't mean that something needs to be done now. I don't have to rush it. Like, it will happen eventually. Maybe I still need to get trained because I feel like I also don't know how exactly to lead people into the word of God, right? I don't know what people need to hear or what God expects them to hear through me. I'm not a preacher so I don't know so even when I do these things this is something that God needs to prune me in like so that is also another reason why I just never rush the whole thing because I'm just like I know what I'm gonna do I've never preached to people man and I'm expecting to have like a group of people like 50 people 25 people 24 people when I haven't even preached to three people <laughs> but like I've, I've only I always share scriptures with my friends don't get me wrong like individually like i always encourage them using scripture to be like you know what dude your situation is going to turn around for you i've always prayed over my friends lives like when my friends are unemployed needing the job i would pray for them like i would intercede for them like i would literally pray and i would see god answer like i would hey i would pray for my friends guys so that's what i mean but i've never like actively preached for people to be like let's go to the book of luke kind of vibe no I've never done that in my life. I've never. It goes okay. Uh, is the window period that God is opening up for me going to close? Whatever the case is, like I was just like God, this is something you've put in my heart. At an appointed time, it will happen. But I just, I, I don't have a structure right now. I don't know. I feel like I need to be pruned. I need to grow spiritually because this is not a joke. Like it's not a joke. This is what I mean when I, every single time I need to film something happens. Like the weather is just jagging. Getting to the point now. So, and now you understand how this week ties in. So that was New Year's Eve. Cool. New Year's Eve on my vision board poster. And I will get back to this. At when the year ends, it's April now, December. I will get back and I will give you guys feedback for every single thing that God has done for me. That I wrote down on the 31st of December 2023 and I had a conversation about God regarding this year every single thing that I've written I will share with you guys all things that God helped me pull through like he literally helped me through it um I'll ha obviously have a reflective video on how this year turned um on how this year turned out at the end of it of course so obviously these are my thought process and stuff like that now I actually want to tell you something I did not even have a community like it's I think another thing is that I'm expected to build this when I don't even have a community to pray with I don't have a community to actually like share scriptures with i don't even have that community right and maybe that was also my way of creating that oh that community for me because sometimes when you don't have things guys when opportunities are not made available for you you need to create your own opportunities and that's the honest truth god will give you the resources he'll give you every single thing that you need and you just have to execute but if you're not willing to execute then what must happen because <laughs> things are not going to come flying from the sky and 
on your lap it's not gonna happen like we all go out we all try by all means to accomplish things that we need to accomplish but anyways i'm getting to the point i promise so december now i'm actually touching on the part and because of all these things that i'm literally telling you guys i felt like that served as a reminder to me that dude you need to grow spiritually like you need to have a community of people that you pray with and i literally had one person have one person that i read the bible with i still have um I have the person in my life where I just read the Bible with and we would share the word and we call it word of the day, which I'm so fortunate. Um, but that's where it all started, right? And um <clears throat> but other than that, like I don't have anyone else that I can share like the scripture with that I share, you know, the Bible reading with, like what did you read, share what you read, or it's your turn today to share the word. I don't have anyone else but one person in my life. So I truly wanted a community and I thought I need to be serious about actually going to church this year i need to be serious about being consistent about going to church and not only going to church five four times in a year like i literally need to be serious about that and i feel like also watching that man's testimony who got married to a witch like it was also it served as a confirmation in my life that do you literally need to be serious about going to church you need to get divine covering over you you literally need to go to a church and serve you literally need to go to a church and serve literally watch that test me guys i promise you it's going to change the way that you see things in life like if you are a lukewarm christian watch that testimony and i promise you it's going to change a lot <laughs> a lot and then um so one of the things that i put on my vision board is to obviously go to church consistently read the word consistently um but the main thing that i actually wanted that i did not have is a community of prayer like people from church okay not like church but like people who knew the word like a strong community of people that i could come and pray with like read the bible with like we're pressing we're going in hard you know like i literally wanted that community where it's like god or nothing you know like we leveling up now we are shooting up now like nothing like that or nothing so that was like my biggest prayer that god i need you to actually make me meet these people to help me like i said watching their testimony made me make this prayer like it made me see the importance of this and to not be skeptical you know so all of this is happening cool um i go back to church in jan i go back to church i think it was in jan um with my sister and then yeah um they literally announced that can people young people stay behind right like the youth young adults yeah the youth basically can they just stay behind my sister and I ended up staying and we had to introduce each other um like people who stood up and that the church didn't know and we just had to introduce ourselves like hey I'm smart of mine now the thing is um I met these people right um yeah the youth path introduced ourselves to the youth pastor as well you know and he's like okay got you guys where you guys are from where are you guys from we told him we told everyone from the church and yeah so now we know each other so he took our numbers to like he basically took our numbers to add us into the youth group basically um for any form of announcement or for us to be aware of the things that they do now one thing that i can tell you is that one thing about god he will answer your prayers and he might not answer them the way that you think he would but he will answer your prayers and it will happen the things that you are thinking here god is working and it's not random because everything to you might seem like it's random and it's never random now i want to tell you in my vision board 31st of december i put a group of people hugging each other like holding each other and like praying in a circle like holding their bibles praying and i was like god i need a community like people where we can like grow maturely in spirit like i feel like that year is the year for me where i'm not playing like i am growing maturely in spirit and i'm just gonna be the person that you have ordained for me to be in spirit and i feel like that has been my consistent my consistent prayer to god god show me who i am in spirit god show me who i am in spirit god show me who i am in spirit now i want to get to the point point of the story is that that um january when we met okay the pastor saved our numbers added us to the group cool now we're added to the group now the pastor says he wants to start something in this youth right after we have joined he says he wants to start this thing called five um this thing of 5 a.m prayer where it's like where we wake up in the morning and we pray online he was like i literally just want to start that he also started a bible plan and he was like by the end of this year i want us all to have read the bible you're right like he just truly was just saying that he's got to start a bible plan that we all have to join we have to read share what it is that we think like we were going in like this like 
Hey. So the whole Fiber M prayer thing, guys, started only on Wednesdays. Like we had it on Tuesdays, then it was moved to Wednesday. But basically, it happened once in a week where we wake up at five in the morning, and um, a person just basically preaches and we pray. But basically, it was always the youth pastor who preached. It was always the youth pastor who preached, and we would pray, and then he would nominate someone to just pray and bless the day, and then yeah, that that's literally what would happen. But now I thought about how random like god like how th random in my mind things were and it's just like but did you actually pray for this and god answered your prayer like he literally brought you a community of people that you can pray with you literally had the prayer you said god this year i want to grow spiritually i want to have an active prayer life i don't want to be a lukewarm christian i literally want to literally be called separated and like serve you with everything in me that was my prayer to god and he literally made it happen from january the minute when I went back to church, it happened. It's April now, and when I tell you that we pray three times a week, 5 a.m. Listen, we used to pray once a week. We extended. We added a Saturday, 5 a.m. prayer. We added a Monday, 5 a.m. prayer. The Monday only started yesterday. Like, Monday only started this week. We were praying three times in a week. But I promise you, by the time this year ends, guys, this year ends, we probably will be praying the whole week at 5 a.m. I was watching the podcast in totality by Megan Ashley, her podcast, and she interviewed this lady. I'll probably pop the screenshots on the screen. I forgot her name, but she put her, she put her on the podcast and she said, "The higher you go, the lower you should bow." When God elevates you guys, you need to go lower. Please watch it. I love watching religious podcasts um, that grown me and prune me. Right? I love it. I love watching sermons. I love it. I love it all. Anything that involves God. I'm there so obviously all these things are happening I'm still continuously reading the Bible on myself on my own um, having prayer like the way I've been doing in the past like nothing has changed I wake up I read the Bible and stuff like that I've recently started reading second Kings like today and Elijah just passed on like so crazy I was so sad I was like <laughs> but yeah that's me when I read the Bible I'm like what what yeah. I want to fast forward to this week this past okay now I want to fast forward to the week that I'm telling you guys about I was just giving you guys a background story so that you get a broader understanding of the significance of the week right two weeks ago so before this week two weeks ago I just really felt like I was getting attacks um in an in a in a weird way like I feel like I've grown spiritually to know that I am being attacked um two weeks ago um the weirdest thing used to happen to me i just truly felt like i was going through a severe attack and the reason why i'm saying that is because people like monitoring spirits like people with monitoring spirits were just all over me what do you do for a living where do you work why don't you want so like you know like when someone is trying their level best to get information about your life out of you that was what was happening and you block this person and someone comes back like a different person comes up and like hey same thing it's a routine. I was like, mm -mm. not with me, not with me. Because one thing about me, I know what you're up to. Is that was what was consistently happening. Next thing, people in the past are popping up on some, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, mm -mm. something is not right, you know. I'm not that person. Like, if you're out of my life, you're out of my life. And I don't believe in looking back in life because I feel like that's how the devil keeps you in a cycle. So I've always been a person to be like, that chapter's ended. I'm keeping my head held high, and I am walking straight with the heavenly father looking forward not backwards not sideways not anything but i'm walking straight so yeah all these things have been happening and i'm just like no man this is actually so crazy because why are people trying to get so much info out of me and it's not like like it's so weird because even the things that they would mention i'm just like you don't even know me like that so whatever you say what where are you taking these things that you're saying like these things that you're speaking because i'm i'm a overthinker guys i'm an overthinker like i'm a person i'm very analytical and i'm an overthinker and one thing about me once you say something i'm gonna pick it up and you might not be mindful because you're just having a conversation i promise you and maybe that's why people are just like you should be a detective well some uber driver said that to me he was just like are you a detective and i'm like like i'm not even nothing i did i feel like i'm just that person like i just overthink things and i'm just able to pick it out right so even when people speak things they probably just speaking but i'm just like how do you know that like who told you that because it can't be anybody 
so where are you getting that info so i'm obviously in that kind of element where i'm just like you're saying certain things but where are you getting that info now i'm in this whole phase in my life and i'm just feeling so uncomfortable because i'm just like these people feel so much comfortable in my presence and maybe not even like physical presence but in my presence in general the fact that they even feel comfortable to even contact me so I went deep into the prayer closet and I was like back to my source and I feel like during that time guys I was also feeling tired I was feeling exhausted I was just feeling like throwing in the towel like I'm done I want to quit I feel like I'm experiencing mental battles like I just want to quit like I'm so tired like I'm getting worn out I'm not sleeping enough I'm making all these sacrifices will it pay off of course I know it will pay off but I'm just like oh god I'm just so tired and I feel like now these 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 people that are popping out of nowhere like I'm experiencing all these things like happening to me and i'm just like i am going through severe spiritual warfare so i went into a period of um fasting because this is one thing that i always recommend as a christian and you're trying to grow your life with god fast fast and sometimes it doesn't even have to be about materialistic things but it could be about things like this where it's like god reveals certain things to me that are hidden you know what i'm saying like i want to have a deeper relationship with you god like reveal how best i can serve you all these things like you could literally have a fast by these things because there's certain things that you're not going to get answers to by prayer you are going to need to get in there like dive deep fasting praying waking up early spending time with god sacrifices delete social media remove those people from your life like all these things you're gonna have to go in deep and be intentional about these things in order for you to hear god's voice in order for you to hear god hear god's voice and see god do things right because at this point in time i feel like i was also going through i was also fasting not only for these things that i'm telling you guys about but there was certain things that god revealed to me in spirit where i was actually seeing like churches being attacked like all these things happening now where the devil is just playing around with god's children they're just having brain fog they're getting tired when they have to pray like they literally just I don't know how to explain it but they're just getting separated from god the devil attacking people's marriages like i'm seeing all these things like god is showing me specific people that i don't even want to speak about you know what i actually want to intercede on these people's behalf they're probably not even thinking about me they probably just don't even know that i know what they're going through <laughs> but i know and i know like the things that churches are going through right now where i i, I remember where god gave me a vision of a church um being robbed um where people were actually in church and i somehow also ended up being in that church and my sister was also in that church um where people just got robbed you know um it was like a real-time robbery like you know those tithing baskets i don't know if you how your guys is in your church how the baskets look but tithing baskets and like they were literally mugging people like gunpoint and stuff like that and the craziest thing because i was just like what and these are the things that i'm just truly trying to raise with you guys that these are the things that god has shown me and you know like you know what i'm saying like all these things that i've been seeing so so vividly and i feel like sometimes i also just take my time to like act like and pray because i'm just like god is this something that's going to happen in my life you know what i'm saying and i don't have like the right posture when it comes to praying and i feel like that is the reason why i just truly want i, I just keep consistently praying for god to bring me people who can be leaders over my life and teach me you know um teach me to experience like a spiritual awakening teach me to experience these things to know how to pray to know all these things to know how to spread the word properly to understand what to to be able to decipher god's voice clearly to be able to know when i share scripture like share it in a way that somewhere somehow someone needs to hear it because even when people preach and on sundays you'd find that you hear a word and you're like god i've been thinking about this you get a confirmation in church because god knew that you needed that and he planted that word in someone's heart to share with you so i feel like all these things i just really reached a point in time where i just felt like i really needed to fast for all these things like i just needed to get into a prayer of fasting because these things were happening consistently where god is showing me all these things that i'm like oh my god not people's marriages oh not people's marriages not people's marriages now you're taking it too far <laughs> but that's why i was just like you know the devil attacks every single thing and i feel like it makes sense when i watch tiktok videos and people are like you've never seen the devil until you get engaged or you're about to get married you know what i never been married but i feel like that's something that i can attest to because now these are the things that god is just showing me that you will critical i'm actually touching on last week now fast forward to last week last week happens and i've just been feeling fine whatever the case is i get the worst news and i just truly felt like collapsing on the floor <laughs> like 
I felt like collapsing on the floor and I feel like I've gotten to that level where I appreciate life so much like I feel like now things are so different where my mindset has shifted I don't know if you guys watch my YouTube videos but there was a point in time where I had a year-end reflection and where I was starting to grow closer to God um, I feel like it, it probably also is in that video that I posted that the things that I am learning during my walk with God, I'll post the video. I think during that video, that's when like God was like calling me like on a serious note. Like, dude, this is no joke. Like, I'm literally calling you. Right? During that whole period, I actually spoke about how I, w I used to complain a lot. Like, I never used to get fulfillment in life. Every single time when I would be blessed, I would never even see the blessings because I would always complain about every single damn thing. I would always complain being consistent in reading the bible in praying and stuff like that that's something that god like revealed to me that you know what do you need to stop this you need to stop this and it's not even in the sense of invalidating my feelings but it's just like you need to stop it like and stop seeing life from a negative perspective like i literally want out it literally worked from that time you guys saw that video i was already working on that till this very day i feel like i posted that video probably two years ago two years later and i feel like i literally worked hard on that and now I'm able to see life from a different picture where I'm so grateful even in the when the worst of the worst of things happen to me like I, I'm so calm and I'm just like I don't even feel scared I don't feel annoyed I don't cry like I used to I'm just like God thank you for the day thank you for these blessings you know like one bad thing before in the past that one bad would ruin my whole week my whole life regardless of the good things that I'd see but now it's like one bad thing get out of here like I, i'm literally at that point when nothing shakes me and i'm just like dude why are you not stressed you're so at peace and i feel like walking with god just really like guys you're the peace that comes with it, it it's unshakable like it's unshakable like nothing shakes you like no matter how badly things can go in your life nothing shakes you but why am i not stressed why are you not why are you not crying like I'm literally there and I just forgotten that I had received God as my Lord and Savior. Hey, um, on a Tuesday, last week Tuesday, by the way, as you're watching this, last week Tuesday, 8 p.m. Past 8, not even 8 p.m., past 8 o'clock night, night time, in the evening. Yeah, evening. I get a message from my pastor. So I need you guys to understand that in the church, I'm not a pastor's child because I feel like those are always like, you know, um kids that are there my dad is not a pastor my mom is not a pastor um we don't serve like that in the house where everybody knows because oh this is button buns child nothing like that i'm just an ordinary person who just goes to church like any other ordinary person so i don't even have that um connection if i should say like with my pastor and even the people that i pray with like i don't even have that connection with them because like i come through and then we they share the messages of the youth and i go home i'm like which is crazy because I asked God for the connection, but I'm just also like not putting in the effort, <laughs> which is so wrong. But what I'm just trying to say is that these people don't know me. Like they don't know me like that. These people don't know me. I don't even speak to my pastor on WhatsApp like that. Like we don't talk. <laughs> like we, we don't talk. We don't, we don't talk. But the craziest part is that my final day of um, fasting, I think it was, I'm not really sure. But remember, I was literally praying consistently, like, God, mature me in spirit. God, teach me to operate in spirit. God, show me who I am in spirit. All these things, like, I'm having this prayer consistently. The day I got bad news, and I'm just like, ugh, dreading life right now. Life is, life, ugh. Like, I literally had that moment where I'm like, ugh. So, I pretty much literally taught myself that, that you need to start feeding your spirit highly. Like, it's not the time to play. Concluding, the Tuesday... I get a message right from my pastor like I'm telling you guys random eight o'clock like I said I don't speak to these people I feel like I need to emphasize on that that these people don't know me they don't know that I'm on this walk with God they okay probably I don't know but these are things that God reveals to other people which is so crazy and you think they just don't know you and in fact they do know you they know because God just whispers these things to people about you anyways Actually, I feel like I put my phone on D&D while I work and even when I knock off from work it's still on D&D just a different kind of D&D that's it so all of this is happening how when I tell you guys that something crazy happens I opened this text message because I felt like my whatsapp just had too much ma too many messages and I don't even speak to people on whatsapp that's the crazy part I don't speak to nobody on whatsapp like besides my friends that I speak to once in a while probably I speak to my sister every single day but other than that there's no one that I could say like I don't speak to people where I'm just like getting 
59 message no i don't speak to people craziest thing happens my pastor sends me a message mind you i haven't been to church since good friday <laughs> so these people haven't seen me <laughs> they haven't seen me in a while you know i get a message from him and he says to me hi mabunje um i'm gonna need you to lead prayer tomorrow at five and i was like That was my reaction i was like hold up whoa i don't preach <laughs> i i don't preach you're asking me to preach in front of a group of people tomorrow morning at five you're asking me to do that i don't preach so now when i'm reading this i'm just like shucks like what do i say like what do I say? This is a whole hour. I can't literally read a scripture and be like Romans 8.28. You understand what I'm saying? I can't do that. Like I have to lead these people in God's word like Benek and inside. And I'm just like, yo, I don't preach dog. But like the thing is I didn't tell him that. I was just taken aback like in my mind. And I'm just like, firstly, and I think the, the reason why I also felt like that is that the people that I attend youth with guys, those people are like strong in prayer. Not, I can't even say like really, really strong, strong, strong. But those people, like, from my perspective, those people are, like, they 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 got serious foundation. They are, like, firm, you know. So you could have picked anybody there, but you picked me. And I was like, eh, eh, eh. So, yeah, he was just so... The crazy part now, all of this is happening. He was like, um, I need you to lead prayer. And I was like, I literally texted back and I was like, sure, with a smiley face. <laughs> but I'm like... He tells me that oh i need you to hand back at like 10 to um for announcements and stuff like that like he just tells me the whole thing i'm gonna start off with introducing you like he just you know just tells me the whole thing we're gonna I'm gonna introduce you then you have to hand back to me once you're done like after the hour whatever the case is like yo i'm gonna try and be brief and he was like no do not be brief take your time girl take your time and i was like you know what to be honest i've never done this before and i feel like i just truly had to say that because I've never done it before and I, I, I like the thing is I'm just like God did you actually put my name in this person's heart for me to preach because you know that I've never done this before but at the same time this is something that I have been praying about and during that time I was still fasting that God showed me who I am in spirit now this guy called well this pastor let me put respect on people's names yo i send my sister a text message and i'm like bro i don't know what i'm gonna say to these people my sister's like yo dog um it's your time to shine halala halala if you're on my tiktok you probably would have seen the screenshot that i posted but um i'm just gonna try and share these conversations and from there i started being stressed like i started actually like i felt like i went from being happy like ooh, 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 maybe this is god's confirmation ooh, 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 you're growing in ministry but at the same time i'm like my friend actually said this to me he literally prophesied this over my life well you know what i'm saying like all these things are happening and now i'm like oh my god what do i say to these people when i look at the time the time is running it's 9 p.m now i'm supposed to be sleeping i have nothing prepared i don't know what they yes i read the bible like a book but what do i tell them <laughs> Guys, the whole time I was stressed the whole night because I'm just like, God, I don't know what I'm going to say to your people. And I prayed and I was like, God, tell me what to say. Like, what should I say? And then I started writing because I had my accounting book opened. And in the book, I started writing. Um, I took my pencil and I wrote the power of obedience. And I was like, the power of obedience. Okay, like, give me more. <laughs> give me more <laughs> give me more i'm just like what time is ticking come on come on girl but yeah i was literally so stressed out guys i was so stressed out i was so stressed out that whole time because it's not even a child's play like this is not a joke and i feel like you also can't have random people pray over you that's like my chat as well so i'm just like god you surely put my name in this person's heart you know so i'm just like god you definitely did this ain't they ain't nobody else it's you i barely even slept when i tell you that the devil tried to stop me i had a dream that night the devil tried to stop i had a dream of the morning where i was supposed to preach and i had a dream of every single thing that you guys could ever imagine like i think i slept late that night i started paging through scriptures like okay write this word so i told myself i'm gonna wake up earlier that morning to actually because i literally rough drafted guys like i couldn't even read it myself to create a neat copy of this i need to wake up in the morning create a neat copy of this go through it and then i'll be fine 
that night when i tell you i literally had a vision where the devil tried to stop me like he literally tried to stop me and he the worst part is that he made himself seem like it was god speaking and he was just saying this is not what you should say like this is this is not it <laughs> this is mediocre bro the, don't even bother just tell them you ain't you ain't got nothing to say to them like that's literally what happened in the vision guys it was so crazy like i ended up becoming like there was every single thing was working against me in the stream and it was in the morning that i had to preach it was so crazy and my alarm rang and the crazy part when i ra when i woke up to actually do it i was just like god should i change what i'm supposed to do because now in my mind i'm just like what was that i'm like should i change what i'm supposed to say like but also like what do i say because like it took me so long to actually draft everything together and my handwriting is not even neat like if i'm about to sit down and write i felt like god saw that this girl is going to change every single thing that she wrote and for some odd reason this is the first time i've ever seen this happen in my whole life guys time went by so quick i was literally in the bathroom brushing my teeth it doesn't even take me that long it probably takes me three minutes to brush my teeth because it doesn't take that long i didn't even wash my face i was just getting ready to just join the call time moved fast like it just went and it was five o'clock by the time i knew it like that was the first time in my life i've ever experienced god speed time like and i'm seeing it like with my own two eyes like i'm not giving you a chance to do it like i'm not even giving you a chance for the devil to do stuff i started preaching and i prayed and i was like oh god wow thank you so much because i was so nervous that morning guys i was just like god i feel like i'm gonna stutter because one thing about me when i get nervous to that extent and you know what i'm saying like and i'm not that pre well prepared because i feel like for me it takes me days to prepare for stuff and i literally drafted this and i went to bed i didn't even go over my notes and my handwriting is also not clear and stuff like that so i literally had a prayer because i was so nervous like i was pounding because I, I don't preach like i said and i prayed to god and i was like god i pray that you may help me to speak with eloquence god. and yeah like i smashed it guys i smashed it and from that day i feel like after that day i feel like i just got a revelation that god answered you um i went to a fitness event at work where we gymmed and exercised and stuff like and i feel like that for me is my new fun um yeah like that for me is my new fun my new fun i feel like god had condemned me from attending a lot of stuff or what i would regard as fun um and i feel like every single time i don't listen to him there's all these consequences to it and i feel like i'm literally even though i was preaching about obedience but i feel like that on its own showed me the importance of it because the wages of sin the wages of sin is death and that is something that i've also learned the hard way and even when you read the bible you see it and then yeah like i gym now i feel like i'm on a journey of growing myself like spiritually physically um the moral of the story is that like i've never been ready for anything you know what i'm saying i remember texting my friend and i was like actually you're right i feel like i'm being called to ministry and i'm not ready and he was like what did i say and i'm like <laughs> i don't know i'm not ready gosh and i feel like the reason why i'm saying all these things guys is because i felt like the biggest misconception that i've ever had in my life is that god had called me to one thing and one thing only which is like my profession now but i never thought of everything else that god can call you to something else once you have gained momentum in this very thing he could call you into something else or he could call you out of the very the very thing that you thought that god was calling you into and call you into something else like ministry like I, i've never in my life like imagined all these things for me like it's not things that i've desired in fact every single thing um that i have is not things that i've desired i think i've always told you guys that i wanted to be in banking because man it's the previous season that prepares you for the next and i feel like the very when i was telling you guys that i just needed to grow my faith because the bad thing that happened i felt like was going to decrease the faith that i have had in god to be like your god you saw me go through xyz and you still allowed this to happen to me you know how dare you i feel like it's so easy to reach that point but i'm just like you know what dude because of this level that you have gotten to growing in spirit with god and this race that you have run with jesus make sure that your faith does not drop like i told myself that make sure that your faith does not drop in god's word you read that bible you listen to those podcasts you ask people for the testimony you engage with people you get a community to pray with you 
tell people to pray over you like make sure your faith does not drop like i was literally at that level i went after the fitness fiesta i, I pretty much gonna post a step without this vlog which is not a vlog but i'm gonna try and make it a vlog you know me <laughs> like the previous one that i uploaded which grace that breaks all protocol hope you guys watch that vlog like I told you guys, I'm actually on a journey to work on my physicality, basically to just exercise and be healthy, to work on my spiritual well-being. So whatever seed that the devil plants in here will not prosper. Like I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to allow it to happen. I'm not. I'm not going to allow it, guys. I am not. Like I'm so serious. It has taken me so much time to get to this level of faith in my walk with God. It has taken me so much sacrifice. It has taken me so much obedience to get to this place and so much work that is a work on it's it's work on its own and now imagine i just throw in the and i just let the devil win just like that not with me i'm not i'm going to fight i am going to fight i am going to fight decided to get two books to actually grow my faith in jesus christ because i'm just like i am not throwing in the towel i'm gonna throw in the towel like even when the bad happens i don't care i'm not gonna curse god and i'm not gonna be crying in my room and be like god you don't love me that's not true that's not true i ain't <laughs> i'll put in a lot of work to get to where i am as god i don't think you guys understand like and i feel like the one thing is that i used to party a lot guys i used to drink a lot and i feel like i'm just so blessed to have the friends that i have because they've adjusted so well with me um they don't force parties and all these things upon me even now like my other guy friend contacted me and he was like um when are we seeing each other you know we should go out for um maybe some coffee you know and i feel like in my old life it would have been the thing of let's just go out for drinks and drink you know and i would be like yeah um but now it's just that like i'm just so fortunate to have these friends in my life where god just speaks through them um he speaks through them to me when i want to throw in the towel they motivate me i was telling leona the other time that dude i'm so tired i just want to quit and her response was literally the reason why i feel like she's still my friend and in fact all my friends like ah oh, brah i love them so much and i feel like they've just been so patient with me in my journey they've adjusted well to me being a newborn from being a crazy girl running the streets of johannesburg to being a newborn who's just not drinking so committed to jesus christ and they've adjusted well um with my new life they don't force these things onto me they allow me to share scripture with them i'm so blessed i'm so blessed i am so blessed to have such people around me and i'm so blessed to actually have a community to pray with at 5 a.m i'm blessed to even be saved like i'm so grateful that god saved me i don't think you guys understand like i feel like me sharing this i might even end up crying because i'm just like god you saw me worthy of all the things that i have right now and you found me worthy to just save me you know to save me to just show me the right way to just cut connections to all the things that have been happening and to say you know what dude you're literally called to something big and better and i have like a better image of the woman that you're becoming like i'm so grateful that god saved me <sighs> this is me about to cry yo i'm so grateful yo i'm so grateful guys i don't think you guys understand like this is such a huge thing <sighs> okay <laughs> let's stop i feel like the way my life has turned around um ever since i was saved like yo god took me out of situations like god God equipped me, God called me, like even in, in, in bigger things in life where people are just thinking about me, having conversations about me in my absence to be like, dude, you're the person that we want for this. And shutting each and every single door so that it can open for me. Like God has done so much for me, man. Oh, God has done a lot for me. God has done a lot for me. And that is why I'm just in a period in my life where I'm just like, I'm not even going to allow a single thought in my head to actually turn me away from him. I'm not gonna allow that.